Hey everybody, Mitchell here from Tidio and welcome to the next installment of our Getting Started series. Now we haven't done one of these for a while, but that's because we've been really busy working on all sorts of super cool features for you guys. One of those being that chatbots are now available for all of our users. So with that in mind, I thought I'd take the time to make you a tutorial and show you how you can set up and manage your very own chatbots. Now just one thing before we get into it, this video is made specifically for non-Shopify users. Bots for Shopify work a little bit differently. So if you come from the Shopify platform, I've made a separate video just for you and you can find the link to that in the description below. So now that we've got that covered, let's get started, shall we? So as you can see, I'm here in my Tidio panel. So firstly, I wanna show you where you can actually find the bots. So if we mouse on over to the left-hand side here, and click this play button, we're taken to the automation menu. And as you can see, we have three tabs, explore, bots launcher, and manage. I'm gonna walk you through each one of these, but first, let's take a look at the explore section. So here under generate more leads, we have our first set of bots. We have lead generation, order a phone call, and place an order. Now you're probably wondering where all the existing automation options that you're already familiar with have gone, and you can find those right under Enhanced Communication. So all the automations you're already familiar with is still there for you to use. Now if we go down to Other Bots, we have a few other cool things to look at here, such as discount for returning visitors, handling return queries, etc. We also have the option to set up your very own custom chatbot. I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later in the tutorial. For now, let's set up a pre-made bot and see how it looks on our store. So I'm going to go to generate more sales and my customers much prefer to speak with me on the phone. So I'm going to set up an auto phone call bot. So if we just click here, move on over to the add button, our automation has been saved successfully and it's as simple as that. Now we've been taken to what's called the Bots Launcher. Now this is basically the interface in which users can launch the bots from. So if we change this to the welcome message. Now the way it works is that when a user first lands on your web page and opens your chat widget, they'll have the option to get started. Once they click on that, the welcome message will appear, exactly how we can see it now on the screen. And all of this text, as well as the image, is fully customizable. So if we click in the box here, we can edit this text. We can remove this image and add our own. Personally, I really like this one, so I'm gonna keep it. And we can edit this also. If we click on the plus button here, we also have the option to add our own text box, or we can add another image. Now, after the welcome message, the user will have an option to launch the bots. As you can see in the preview here, we have order a phone call. Now, once they've been served by the bot and everything's sorted, they will then receive the bot chat ended message. So this will ask the customer if there's anything else the bot can help them with. They'll have the option to launch another one, or they can type custom message and be connected with an operator. So let's say they opt to be connected to an operator, they will then receive what's listed here as the go to operator message. So as you can see, an operator will be with you in just a moment. Then they'll be connected to a live person. This is obviously really helpful because if the bot cannot sort out their query, there's always someone there who can. Just quickly before we take a look at it on our site, make sure to toggle on the active on chat button here. We also have the option to toggle on active on messenger. Just be aware that you need to have Tidio fully integrated with your Facebook fan page in order to do that. And make sure to hit the save button when you're ready. Okay, so as you can see, we're all set. Let's head on over to the web page and see how it looks. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go over here and open the chat widget. And as you can see, the get started button is now there. So I'm gonna click that. And here we have the bots launcher. So we can see the welcome message from our panel earlier, and we have the option order a phone call. This will launch the bot that we configured. So let's do that. Would you like us to call you? Yes, please. Sure thing, what's your phone number? I'm just gonna enter something generic. 223344, that should do it. Thanks, we'll give you a call as soon as we can. So that's the bot finished. So when a live operator has a moment, they're gonna see that phone number and they're gonna give me a call. 
Now usually we'd be asked if we want to launch another bot or to speak with an operator, but that would be a little bit nonsensical given that the only bot we have set up is to schedule a call. So now is a good time for us to set up a custom chat bot and then we can come back to this and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm back here under the explore section and now I'm gonna create a new bot from scratch. So if we just select the option, hit the add button, we're asked to select a new trigger. Now I'll explain to you exactly what a trigger is in just a sec. We're going to choose visitor clicks the bot button because we want this to appear as a separate button in the bots launcher. Now I'm going to call this something like discount and the idea behind this bot will be to offer returning visitors a discount code. Something to build their loyalty and keep them coming back. Alright, so we've chosen the trigger. Now what exactly is a trigger? Well, this is what actually causes the bot or automation to fire off. We're basically just programming this whole sequence to begin when a user clicks this specific button. Now we also have the option here to add a condition. Now a condition is basically a two-way filter. So you can set what happens if the condition is met or what happens if it's not. So what I'm gonna do, because I want to offer my discount for returning visitors, I'm going to drag and drop this condition right here. And as you can see, it's automatically been connected to the trigger. So next up we have actions. Now actions are you telling your bot what you would actually like it to do. So we've got a variety of options here. We can send specific messages, we can send emails, we can program the bot to make a decision or to end the chat. There are lots of options here. Now what I actually want to do is when the visitor first clicks on the bot button, I want the bot to ask them a question and then make a decision. So I'm going to take this action, put it here. For now, I'm going to disconnect these two. So if I just move over this line and click the X button, I first want the bot to make the decision before applying the condition. So I need to connect all of these together. Now in order to do that, I just mouse over the node, as you can see here. I click and I hold on this circle icon, and then I drag and drop to this circle icon, and they're now connected. So we need to set what the decision will be. So if I click here, I need to add some text and I need to configure a couple of buttons. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get the bot to ask my visitors, would you like to check if you're eligible for a discount? Okay, so that's been added. And I'm gonna sit as the button, so this is where the decision happens. Yes, please, and no thank you. Okay, so what I want to set now so when the visitor chooses yes please, for my bot to check if they are a returning visitor, since that's what determines their eligibility. So, if I drag and drop and connect these two nodes, just like I did before, we connect yes please to the condition, and now we want to program what the bot will do if the user chooses no. In that case, we're going to choose chat with bot ended. So again, we need to drag and we need to connect these two nodes. So that's all taken care of. But there's still one more thing. We need to set an action for when the returning visitor condition is met and when it's not. So when it is met, I'm gonna program my bot to send them a message with a discount code. So let's just set the message to something like, congrats, you're eligible. Here is your code, okay. And what we need to do is we need to drag and drop a connection between these two. And as you can see, there's a yes icon here. So that means if the condition is met, they get this message. So what about if the condition is not met? Well, we can drag and we can drop to this chat bot ended here. And as you can see, the line has no. So this is looking good. I think it does exactly what I want it to do. I need to remember to hit the save button. So I'm just gonna give this the name discount. And now we can head back to our page and see how it looks. Okay, so here we are on the page again. And as you remember, we were already speaking with our previous bot. So one thing I wanna show you here is that in order to relaunch a bot or launch a new bot, at any point during a conversation, you can click this little blue play button here. And now you can see the option for our discount bot. So I'm gonna launch it this way for now. 
Would you like to check if you're eligible for a discount? Yes, please, I would. Congrats, you're eligible, here's your code. So I've obviously been recognized as a returning visitor. So I'm really glad that's working as expected. Let's head on back to the panel. There's one more thing I'd like to show you. So if we head on over to the Manage tab, you can see we have a nice little view of the analytics here with a breakdown of the time intervals to show us exactly when the bots were triggered. Now, one other really cool thing is that under the options here, we can delete the bot, we can turn it off temporarily, or we can set it to turn off only when operators are offline. Now, this one is really handy for things like welcome messages. Obviously, you don't want to welcome a visitor and ask them if they need help with something when you're not even there to answer. It's much better to just leave the bot to take care of any queries that might come your way. And here, if we mouse over the edit button, it will take us back into the automation setup where we can connect and customize or even add and remove different nodes. Just always make sure to hit the save button when you're done. Okay, people, so that about covers everything. If you have any more questions or concerns or anything isn't perfectly clear, just head on over to tidiochat.com and start a live chat with our friendly support team. You can also send them an email over at support at tidio.net. And if there's any more materials you would like to read over about bots, we have a free ebook download, which I've linked in the description below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And we're quite often releasing valuable content videos on this channel. So do hit the subscribe button if you're interested. That way you won't miss out. Thanks for tuning in everybody and I'll see you next time.